Vega Lopez. Emmanuel Augustanova. Lois is in the car hiding somewhere because she's super scared. I've had this car since I was in 11th grade or 12th grade and so I've had it for about eight years now. My stepfather blessed me with it brand new. I took really really good care of it and I as well as Daniel thought it was time for me to get a new car because I've had this for like eight years. Lord willing we want to start a family so we wanted something bigger, something that we could have that's reliable. Not that this one wasn't, but it doesn't have enough room. I just wanted something different. It was time. So I'm blessing my little sister with this car. We're cleaning it, we're making it super nice. She has no idea. I want to introduce you to my new baby over there. I haven't named her yet, but she's a Telluride and she has eight seats. It to you for your birthday, but I found it when we were cleaning. Oh, and I also have bags of clothes too. Oh, your car over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, it, it ain't it ain't leaving the household. It's staying in the family. <laughs> we cleaned it. Let's go over there. Right, no way. <laughs> My car. <laughs> 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 Are you happy? <laughs> so those are a bunch of clothes that are for you. And then this is Lola's. I have to take this out. And then there's some shoes. So. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Thank you, Jess. Oh, you're welcome, Sadie. <laughs> Baby! Put the lights on, girl! Oh, Lord. I know, we gotta work on her. <laughs> no, not those lights. Those lights. <laughs> that you video you guys just saw was of me giving my car to my little sister. It was awesome. That was this weekend. Today is Monday. We are gonna give you a quick overview of what's been going on. Babe? Yep. So we are obviously in our home. Look at how beautiful. Our, this is provided by the medical school. Um, and we don't have to pay a dime. It just looks like a little garden. It's just like an old 1900s um, home. It's awesome. So we are here right now. I just got off. It's like super early and I got off like at 11.30 a.m. I'm doing inpatient psychiatry right now. It's pretty awesome. The doctor that I'm with is amazing. He lets us do a lot um, because this is our last rotation and I am about to be a fourth year medical student. It's pretty amazing. He lets us do a lot. He lets us um, see our own patients and write our own notes and, and see what medications we want to give them, obviously with his approval. Um, but yeah, it's awesome rotation. And I don't know, I should do another video about that rotation yeah. soon after I'm done. Um, he has his exam this, this Friday. Friday. Next Tuesday is? Is my second board exam. So remember, I posted a video a long time ago on my step one exam. So there's three step exams. Uh, but during medical school, there's two that you take. Okay, step one and step two. Or at least so, at FSU. So, yeah, so this step two is going to be uh, two parts. And the first part is going to be in Atlanta, Georgia. So we have to drive five, five hours. Um, we go there, and that's when you see like eight patients. Uh, and you go in, they're fake patients, they're, they're simulation patients, you know. And then you have to go out and write your notes and whatever. And then the second part to that is like a, at a prometric center, sitting down, like the MCAT or something, sitting down, taking a 300 question test. Um, so that's part two. And then I'm done with board exams uh, until after I'm a doctor. So after your first year out of medical school, you have part three, which is weird. You would think you would do it before you graduate, but no, you graduate, get your MD, and then you take your third part 
which is weird a year later but so that's what we're doing uh, right now I'm studying she just got home yeah she's gonna work her second job because she has two jobs uh, and she can work from home it's a blessing I we finished the TA job that was only for like th five, five weeks, weeks or something like that so the schedule is a little bit more consistent yeah um, Daniel also has some exciting news to tell you guys. Oh, about my specialty. Yes, I didn't so, even say. So, remember he was gun-ho about ortho? Well, God was like, whoa, 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 buddy. I got something else. Yeah, so. And I'm, it was so crazy, but. I'm doing emergency medicine. <laughs> so, emergency medicine. I'm so stoked. That is not orthopedic surgery, but. I'm sure it's it is. It's amazing. Not, by the way. It's amazing, and I'm gonna post another video about that too. Yeah, why I'll post I, another video. Why I decided emergency medicine, and I haven't matched into it yet. Okay, so, but I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I, I'll still post a video about why I decided that. So, so this is a quick little update to let you guys know we're still here, we're still alive. I know we've been posting like once a month, but I mean, there's just so much going on. So this is just yeah. enough to keep you guys up to know on what's happening. And something also super cool is that, oh, the camera's right there. Oh, sorry guys, we have a, a screen that flips out. Um, so Daniel already went over all the rotations that he's taken with you this far. Um, his last rotation was family medicine. He already quickly went over that. I mean, from babies to 18 years old, all types of things so coming in. 100 years old. And my stepdad is actually a primary physician, so, um, I mean, Daniel experienced that way before this rotation. Yeah. So, I mean, he enjoyed it, but that's not where his heart is. EM, which he'll describe later for the next video, it fits his personality so perfect. My squirrel brain. Yeah. So. I also have my own journey, um, and I'll do a day in the life. I don't know when, because it's been super crazy, but of it'll a, be soon. Of a spouse in medical school, that's what she should do. Um, and any of you that are, like, are thinking about how's our, how's our relationship, how's your relationship going to work if you go to medical school or and professional like school? And like full time job. She got you covered. Yeah. So, so love you guys. We love you. We and thank we'll you. And see you later. Yes. Hey guys, we were going to end the video on Monday, which was yesterday, but today's Tuesday, and I want to show you guys real life for the Lopez's right now. No makeup. It is about, what time, babe? It is about five o'clock in the afternoon. I have two jobs, remember that. I have two jobs and I got off, so the first job is from eight to one. I drive home, it's about 45 minutes, and then I start my second job from two to seven. Gym is from 7.30 to 8.30. Come back home, finish work, so this is real life, literally. Daniel has his psych exam on Friday and it's his last rotation for third year. So he officially becomes a fourth year medical student this week. Are you excited? I'm really excited, shaving. The dishes are piled up. My face is broken out. The laundry still hasn't been put away. This is real life for us. It is not all pretty and organized. I wanted to show you how busy we are and how life really is for the most part. So the dishes, oh, I'm not even gonna show you the dishes. But yeah, I'm exhausted. I have bags under my eyes, but God is our strength. He's getting us through. Um, we've been making it a priority to read the Bible before the gym. At least we're in James right now, so read one chapter of James um, before we go to the gym and one chapter before bed. Let me show you my setup. Our office, look at this. It is insanely messy right now. This calendar is still from February and we're in May. Look at my setup. I literally have three computers going on. My main Mac, my work computer, and my other Mac. So this is, this is legit, this is real. And there's Lola crying because we haven't taken her out yet. Yeah, I have. Oh, you have? So guys, I have to shave say? everything. Cause my uh, rotations that are coming up, 
for emergency medicine, because I'm doing emergency medicine now, I told you guys that, um, the, my dean was like, you gotta shave. Because, you know, you can have a beard and all that, but there's just some things that are just professional on first impressions. Babe, like, I'm not gonna go in with can like... Can you fix that? That's like super bothering me. What's fixing what? The shower curtain. I'll at least have something organized. So, like my dean's like, you know, you don't go in with like a uh, mohawk, pink mohawk or something. I don't know, you know, it's just kind of professional. So, even though I like my beard, I like this too, but this is professional, more professional than me having a little beard. You know, it's clean shaven. And now I'm gonna meet these people for the first time. And then if I see everyone with a little beard, I hey, still probably won't do your it. Your exam's in three days. What are you doing to prepare? Shaving? No, that's not. So who's? So this is what I'm doing. So Follow Matt's me. Matt's coming over. My boy's coming over. Matt lives. He lives right right across. over there. But that's hippo right there. I'm playing. So I am starting to study. I've been studying though uh, all day, but I'm studying some. Cannabis, cocaine, amphetamine stuff that um, can pre pre precipitate psychosis, like in people that come to the ER and they're like cocained out, and they might see like things have hallucinations, and you might think they're like psychotic, but they're really just intoxicated with the drug. So, Babe, I think we need some espresso. I'm, I'm pretty sleepy. good. She's always sleepy. No, I'm legit sleepy. She's always sleepy. I'm sleepy too, but sometimes I come home and I take a little nap. Sometimes I don't. It just depends. It's really sunny outside Listen to me, guys. and it gets me going. Listen to me. If I don't call Daniel every minute and he's home alone, he it knocks out on this couch. Like he needs accountability so he cannot be left home alone. Yeah. So my friend's going to come over and we are going to studied together he's on a different rotation and i alluded to this before one of my one of my uh videos that you need to have a study group even if you're not studying the same thing it's just kind of like accountability and it just kind of pumps you up like hey let's study together he has he has an exam on friday also he's in pediatrics so while he's studying little kids i'm studying psychiatric patients so it is what it is but i've already taken peds and he's already taken psychi psychiatry so we can still help each other which we probably won't but that's just the way it works. Here you go, Matt. What are you studying? Looks good. What am I saying? Yeah. Thank you so much. No, <laughs> what are you studying? Oh, what am I studying? I am studying for pediatrics. His pediatrics exam is on Friday. That's right. I'm a little jealous. <laughs> oh, thank you, babe. Look at that. Capacito. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. What's up, guys? So, it's currently Wednesday. It's Thursday. We didn't film yesterday because, uh, what time did we get home? Nine, nine twenty. But we were exhausted because we had been up <clears throat> since like six in the morning. So right now it's around four, gonna be five. Daniel's studying, adding the final touches before his exam tomorrow. This is an office we have at church that's empty. So he's using it. And my office is right there. It's really plain. Yep, just I'm gonna chilling. have a girls night. I'm gonna have a girls night with some friends from church. While my babes is gonna study and go to the gym. I'm done studying, I'm gonna go to the gym. My exam's tomorrow, but my board exam is next week on Tuesday. And my exam's tomorrow on Friday. Jeez. So I'm excited. So yesterday we had church. Till yeah. s and we got home super late, so that's why we didn't film. We wanted to do kind of like a video letting you know like how our weeks is, but yesterday it was like crazy, so we didn't film. But I'm gonna do a little bit of work. Babe's gonna um... just do a little bit of more studying and then um, leave. 
go to the gym. I've been here since super early, so sometimes you just gotta call it quits. I don't really like studying that much the day before the exam anyways. I just feel like it doesn't help me. So I like to go to the gym, relax, eat some good food. So I let me let me show you my office. Guys, I got my hair done. Closer and closer blonde each session. This is my office, super plain. I bring my little computer when I come work because it's just so much easier to carry than my big one, but I will do a day in the life, just not today. This was kind of like a week, a day in our week. Tomorrow Daniel's taking his exam. I'll be working, but remember he has his step two in Atlanta. So this weekend is just gonna be studying. I'm gonna be catching up on some work, so nothing crazy. But we love you guys. We hope you have a blessed weekend and Brum 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 brum. So I just finished my last exam for my third year of med school, and now I'm going to be a fourth year med student. Are you happy, babe? Are you excited? I'm super stoked. That exam was pretty difficult. I just took my psychiatry exam, and I thought it was going to be really easy. I'm like, okay, this is psychiatry. I've been doing well on my practice question, practice exams, but I was really surprised how difficult it was and I was like geez man this is hard um, but challenging that's good it's a good thing um, so I get my grade back on Monday and then I have my final my I have my board exam in Atlanta Georgia on Tuesday so we have this weekend to study me and my friend Matt he lives next door to me so um, so today it's really sunny outside we're gonna cook some burgers Jessica has to do some work and I have to study for that board exam coming up next week so uh, we're gonna cook some burgers and then we're just gonna study, hang out. I'm gonna study with my friend from med school as well. He just had his last exam for third year too. So um, this is Friday and the weekend we look forward to, but- We um, both are working a lot. We're both working a lot and it's gonna be a grind.